the Sword of Fate is really nicely mixed. Um, we have Strauss' Death and Transfiguration and Beethoven's Fifth Symphony. Uh, these are essentially both two different interpretations of the same idea. Uh, and they happen to be in the same key, starting in C minor, going to C major. Beethoven's Fifth Symphony is, is probably the most famous piece ever written. It's almost uh, taken for granted today that you know, classical music is represented by something that in its time, in 1808, when it was performed for the first time, uh, this shook not only the world of music, this shook the whole world. And, and that was kind of Beethoven's uh, life's mission, is to shake things up, is to get people, whether they be uh, politicians, musicians, uh, the general populace out of their comfort zone. And this is what the Fifth Symphony does right off the bat. It just kind of lobs you continuously over the head with uh, you know, th this, this motive, repeated, repeated, repeated. Um, and and for, for, for a composer to, to come out of the shoot right like that with no melody, um, you know, no introduction, right away this is a very small motive that, that the more you look at Beethoven's Fifth and the more you listen to it, uh, this four note element pervades the it pervades everything it pervades all the instruments all the all the harmonies all the all the motives um, it, it's really quite quite amazing for the Strauss uh, the death and transfiguration this is a uh, Strauss's symbolism of someone on their deathbed presumably an artist um, who, who kind of looks over his life and legacy um, and accomplishments and and he really can't he really can't escape this one kind of endeavor that he couldn't perfect in life and and Strauss's whole philosophy is that that endeavor was never meant to be perfected it could never be perfected um, in the human form um, so so the really cool um, transformation about death and transfiguration uh, is at the end it represents the death of this artist um, and in that death this artist is able to realize and accomplish what he couldn't accomplish in life this in essence is the the same the central message of Beethoven's Fifth Symphony which works its way from tragedy to triumph um, is what Beethoven lived um, you know Beethoven being someone who was uh, incredibly uh, in, in so much pain and turmoil and angst his whole life, um, not only physically but psychologically from a social standpoint because uh, of his deafness he did not want to engage um, with society. Uh, Beethoven made the conscious decision to, instead of killing himself, he made this decision to, to go on and to live for the rest of us and to create this great art that can inform our struggles for years and years to come. Beethoven even said he was the first composer really not only thinking but knowing that his music would be played and would be and would have influence on, on humanity hundreds of years later. Um, and he even said that, you know, man will not become brothers. Uh, you know, we won't have liberty and equality probably for 200 or 250 years, but it will happen.